G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Akeflos and today we're going to be continuing Alawi's Chapter 2 of our campaign here in the Path of Champions in Legends of Runeterra, of course. And we are just about halfway through uh, towards Viego here in her campaign. And the next objective right now is to head down to the power um, tab down here and pick up our first, uh, sorry, our next power, I should say, not our first power. Well, first power of this episode, next power of the run in general. But yeah, you get the message. Okay, um, this all, these are all very good. When you summon an ally, grant it fury, it is a dragon that could definitely play very, very well with Alawi's, um, you know, set. And of course, uh, you know, whenever we kill an enemy, we are playing kind of aggressively right now. We should be able to, you know, keep buffing it up. Round start, grant the weakest ally, plus one, plus one is also very, very good because it's a guaranteed plus one, plus one. Uh, ho however, it is to the weakest ally, so we have to really consider here. Dragon's Rage or Battlefield Training? That's my question. Um, I think all things considered, we're going to want to go with something that will actually, you know, guarantee to benefit us. Dragon's Rage only triggers whenever we get a kill, so I think... Tentacles should be able to benefit from the battlefield training, but it's only until it, you know, out, um, how would I say it? Um, it gets stronger than the, say, the enemy next to the, uh, well, not the enemy next to, sorry, um, one of our, you know, other allies or something. So, I think with that in mind, we're going to go with the Dragon's Rage because that could actually help us. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. All right, so our next um, battle here is either against the Battlesmith or we can go towards the vicious enemy, the Evershade Stalker. Now, I know this is a very <laughs> um, precarious situation because we just beat Fiora uh, on what is a good run. So I'm a bit concerned that we might, you know, um, I I'm worried that we might, you know, end up uh, screwing things up somewhere and going back to the beginning. But I think we're going to chance that. We're going to be a little bit brave. We're going to be a bit bold. We're going to be adventurous. We're going to go ahead and uh, take our chance. So we're going to go ahead and head to the vicious enemy, the Evershade Stalker and see if we can beat him. Never ending nightmare, the foes units have nightfall. Someone in exact ephemeral copy of me, okay? Vicious enemy plus 10 excess health plus one starting mana plus one starting hand size. We should be able to counter this if we could get a lot of aggressive units early. We could, you know, just take it out and essentially just nullify whatever the Evershade Stalker has to offer. Wow, well, this is not a great start. Um, five, five, and four. We have to reroll these uh, these three. Hopefully, we get something good, and that way, you know, we could uh, play off aggressively. That's the only way we can win this. Now I'm a bit worried, to be fair, <laughs> uh, but it should be fine. Endless tentacles of the mother serpent. A serpent rend its bones, tear it to tiny bits. Okay, this isn't a great start. Obviously, this is a terrible hand. Um, I'm gonna pick up the watchful idol first, and hopefully, we get to survive in the next round. Please, please don't screw this up for me. <laughs> please give us a good hand. Does death follow me or peace? <laughs> Oh, this is bad. This could be bad. <laughs> well, Alawi next turn will probably stun, but uh, we have to try to mitigate something somehow. So we're gonna bring on C's voice here. Ah, a beautiful day for sailing. Sure is dark, eh? Okay, this is what we'll do. We'll sack the tentacle on the first turn. Okay, I want to see if we could get something to come on. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> you do not have anything for me. My goodness, I wanted, you know, something to come on. That way we stun it with Alawi and then we can get a good attack or something. I must have uh, fucked it up there. Oh my goodness. And now it's going to bring on the Evershade Stalker, which isn't that great. Uh, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. We can still work with this. Let's stun him. 
truth bearer? Truth is no better. All right, tentacle smash. We will take out... We'll spawn tree, right? We will spawn tree. Okay, we will spawn tree. So that will be five. And we should be able to kill the soul shepherd here. Defend your... Right, Fury activates, which is cool. Alright, ends round. Nice. Okay, I'm not gonna muck around. I am gonna just straight up attack with this. I am not gonna muck around. <laughs> um, this is gonna, what, support and give plus one, plus one. Okay, alright. So, we will take the Sinister Poro here with us. Okay, cool. Something. Oh wait, this was vulnerable as well. Oh my goodness. In her I'm so sorry. I didn't see that at all. I did not notice that. I really apologize. I'm not the most aware person, admittedly, but hopefully we're fine. I think we should be okay. Uh, we can do another tentacle smash. We take out this guy or whatever it brings on. You know what? Let's not risk it. Let's just do a straight up tentacle smash and just um, um, clear the board a bit. I don't think I want the Soul Shepherd on board because it's going to summon another one and essentially it will, you know, buff it more plus one plus one. So I don't think that's what I want. A life lesson. Okay. Alright, to be fair, we're fine. I'll just play the Buru Lookout so that we get another unit to block, and at the same time, it spawns as well, which is good. Navigator, if you are here. The dead cannot be far behind. Yes, I bring ill tidings, but they're not boring All right. ones. We'll take out this guy. And we can win next turn. Defend your Alright, there's no way we lose here. <laughs> this is obviously an easy victory. All right, a little bit sloppy, but it's fine. At least we got the win. So we get an upgrade to the Ants Prayer as well. Grant the top ally in your deck plus one plus one. Very, very good. So I'm going to pick this up. All right, we'll go to the power tab here. And... Please give us something good. We get another stun. Very, very nice. So we are going to be able to pick this up. We get to stun two enemies in one turn. So that's going to be great. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have in the shop. Hopefully another good power. That would be very nice. Eh, summon to arm gearhead isn't too great. Let's see if we get any good cards. Mm, City breaker round start. Deal one to the enemy nexus with a three and a one. Okay, this is good. Uh, summon the summon the silver sister round and reduce my cost by one. So uh, silver sister is elusive for three. Could be vital. And I'm summon all round start. Summon an encroaching mist with the invasive hydrovine. Uh, when I'm summon grant all allied vehicles and encroaching mist. I have a plus one plus one. This is not going to be too great because it, we can't really benefit from it. Uh, 
I think we'll pick up the two armed gearhead because ideally we don't really have any one cost units that attack and you know a armed gearhead would be good to you know um, play off aggressive immediately so I'm gonna pick this up we have another shop there so we have to be a little bit mindful of our coins I think we'll pick up the city breaker as well because it is flat out damage and I'm enticed by the fact that it's a 4-6 so obviously I'm gonna want to pick this up and that's about it. So, given ally plus two plus zero, does want to create a fleeting boat breaker in and could be good. Manifest a card from our regions. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to keep some coins just in case we have a good power here because this is the, another shop note and it's going to bring us through the ethereal remitter. So, I'm going to go ahead and take them on. Uh, form immaterial round start the four kills their weakest unit to summon a random follower that costs two or more. Okay. Okay, this is good. Seize voice LeBlanc. I think we'll take off the Seize voice. LeBlanc could be good as a very aggressive option, so we'll keep this. Wretched soul. Too stubborn to see your time has passed. Wrong, Buru. My foal grows ever larger. Care to join us? Lady Elise, where are you? Okay, answer prayer. Definitely won't sacrifice one arm gear hit. I'm happy to take one damage. Okay, uh, I was wondering where did this guy come from? <laughs> uh, round start, four kills a week as you need summon around. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, let's do a... Let's drop a LeBlanc. The best lies are true. Yeah, might have that might have that might not have been the right call, <laughs> uh, but it's fine. I think we can attack with this. We should be okay. Five four, it'll survive. Um, chances are I might block with this. No, this will definitely block this. Okay, I think we'll remove these two. That way we see we could force, you know, this guy to come here. Oh wait, hold on. Three, two... Whoa, 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 hold on. One second, one second, one second. Spawn two, three, two, four, three. Wasn't that supposed to be five, four? Wasn't that supposed to be 5-4? One life in exchange. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I think maybe my, ma my, my, my mathematics are going wrong somewhere. Um, okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll do a tentacle smash. We can... No, no, hold on. Tentacle smash in the right play here. Oh my goodness, I am screwing up this one so badly. Grant your strongest ally a random common item in this game. Spawn tree, then your strongest tentacle and the enemies strike each other. Uh... Tentacle Idol isn't too great here. Okay, I know what we can do. Take this guy out, 4-4, four, four, and then, you know, kill the Ethereal Remitter. Um, and that way we can... When you target me, grant me plus one, plus zero. Yeah, that's not good. So we can have LeBlanc just kill this guy and we should be able to survive into the next round. I'm making a lot of mistakes here, but again, this won't be a video of mine if I don't make some form of a mistake or something. But <laughs> uh, you know what? It's all right.
Okay, it's okay. I think it's time to sack these two anyway. Okay, chooses the pass, which is fine. Uh, I'm just gonna attack straight up. I'm not gonna <laughs> you know, muck around anymore. Uh, we'll have LeBlanc go last as well, just to make sure that she levels up. Uh, she actually has a support here, which is not that great. Oh, maybe we could have a... Arm Gearhead survive? Yeah, that could be good. It's too late for you. Spawn two, draw two... Nah, we'll not do that. The Black Rose blooms once more. We'll play Watchful Idol here. Get more tentacles on. That's always good. Where are you? Can even play Answered Prayer if we want to. We definitely need an Alawi soon. Alawi would be great. Uh, spawn 2 or spend 5 mana to spawn 4 instead. I uh, you know what? We might as well just go for it since we have the mana. Sacrifice for a greater cause. Why no Alawi? <laughs> I really want an Alawi. Uh, two six LeBlanc should be able to take it out. Four three here. I think we'll bring on the Brewer Lookout just in case we need to block with something. Let us meet dark skies with bright souls. Okay, doesn't attack. Cool. Oh come on! Still no Alawi. My goodness. <laughs> um, we're just attacked then. We're just attacked. We should be fine. Yeah, I'm ready. Smoke in the mirrors. Try to keep up. We sail ever forward. Okay, we'll attack. If I must. Quit struggling. Okay. Damn it, still no Alawi. <laughs> We're doing Veil, he'll deal one to all enemies. Uh, we can't block this guy. Okay, it's alright then. We'll drop this Slippery Wave Rider. It's not the best because we have an Elusive here, but it is vulnerable. Um, if it gets vulnerable next turn, we can just pull it somewhere. My goodness, I really need an Alawi here. Or do we actually play I am Nagaka Boros? I am Nagaka Boros could be good. We could bring on Alawi if we get her. Mm. Okay, you know what? Overwhelm is much more important now, so I think we'll bring on the I am Nagaka Boros. Please give us an Alawi. <laughs> One more time. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Still no Alawi. Finally, my goodness. Ilawi, she misses you. Impossible. I carry her with me always. Okay, let's bring on Alawi. We will attack with what we've got. Oh. Uh, 
No, we'll put LeBlanc. We'll put this one. We'll put it like that. Because LeBlanc will support. We'll give a plus one, plus one. Allow we will get more tentacle overwhelm. And I think we should be fine. So we can even put this 6 2. Sorry, that's the wrong one. Trying to get this 6 2. <laughs> uh, 6 2 here. And I think we're okay. Upon victory! I won't lie, that battle took much longer than, have, than I would have liked because obviously we didn't get the Elawi. Um, I have Nagaka Boros with a heal. Is that important right now? Because I think we have about almost 27 health, right? I cannot check my health for some reason. <laughs> I think it was at 23 or 22. Um, the heal will give us, the heal before Viego will give us another 7. So. I don't think Avnagaka Boros is that important. I think I would rather give I would rather buff the City Breaker. Uh, and then we could get a you know we could get some good damage and of course we can defend with it if push comes a shove. But ideally allow is still our win con. Tentacles are still our win con. So I think we'll just in regardless we'll still pick it up. 20 health. Um it should be fine. Okay, buy a power. Please give us something good. Enemies are minus one, minus zero. I'm picking this up. No question about it. You get to buy more cards as well. Transfusion, deal one to an ally. Grant an ally regeneration. If they already have it, grant them plus two, plus two instead. This could be very good on the tentacles. Um, troll gifts. Redouble Valor is also very nice. Uh, six costs. I think we'll see if we could split them up. Maybe we'll get one of these. One of this. And oh, we don't have enough for redouble valor already. Uh, but it's fine. It's a six cost and it's a slow spell. I don't think we'll be granting, we'll be playing that too often. Troll gifts will be better because regeneration uh, will definitely help the tentacles. So I think we'll pick this one up. Uh, you know, it's a good choice to pick this up. We will get two because we can't afford the other one. All right, it's fine. Okay, uh, we have enough time. Let's take on Viego. Let's heal up at the healer first. And let's hope we don't make any more mistakes like in this battle and the Nightfall one. This is a very sloppy episode. <laughs> uh, but it's alright. Sovereign's Domination. Round start. The four summons an ephemeral copy of the player's strongest follower that died last round. Alright. I think it should be okay. Where do you hide, my love? Oh, Ruin King. Why do you linger here, you sad, motionless fiend? Isold, my true love. Why does she elude me? I come bearing a hard truth. She is gone. Get over it. No power in this world can stop me. Well, hopefully ours can. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is also a very nice reference. Uh, I think, you know, I find like I find like Alawi and Viego here seemingly forgot about their tango in Ruin King. Maybe, you know, maybe it's an alternate universe or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to get too deep into the detail because we are pressed for time here. But let's just, uh, you know, get into this battle. An eerie sense comes over you as the black mist grows thicker. The entire Damasian sky is blackened with harrowing as a lone figure emerges from the gloom. Okay, and that lone figure is definitely Viego. Wow, this is a terrible start. Um, four five and four five. We're gonna want to reroll everything. Please give us a two cost or a three or a three cost. That would be the only way we can win this, I would presume. You know what? You know not what you speak, Buru. Our bond is unsearable. Our motion unpresent. Uh, desire cuts both ways, and she does with you, deceiver. I shall part your poison tongue from your head. I missed some of the text there, but I, I, it should be fine. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna attack then. Arm gear head, okay. This is precisely why we got the arm gear head, in case we don't get any units. Go ahead. Bring on the 
Blanc here. The best lies are beautiful. Okay, City Breaker on. Please bring on Viego. I'm begging you to bring on Viego. Uh, five plus. Oh crap, don't bring on Viego. <laughs> I thought we had enough to kill him here. Um it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can still we can still manage this. Uh five plus power uh five plus power strike an ally with five plus power strikes an enemy, right? Mm. Okay, we we can actually manage this. Uh, let's see if we can try to get Viego to block here because it has zero, you know, zero mana. It's not going to be able to do anything. Me and die. Okay, this is what we do. This is what we do. There we go. He still will get stunned next turn. Mm. Spawn one and give your strongest tentacle overwhelm. This will be what? Two damage? Two plus three, five. This will be just a four and this will still be five. So either way, we still get five damage. Uh, I think we'll just bring on C's voice then. At least we get some buffs to the tentacles. That would be great. The sea she calls, the world we answer. Will be a very fast victory, possibly. Hold on, LeBlanc has a support, right? She no, she does not have a support. Okay. Do you hear her voice? Sacrifice for a greater. Okay, let's bring on another city breaker. I just I got just the perfect counter. We bring on Tono the Rose. Let's make this a night to remember. Okay, choose us not to attack. Uh we're not gonna sack any units. I don't think that's a wise thing to do. Alright, and we can attack with this, of course. We can attack with everything. And we might just win here. Yes, we do win. Another rose for the garden. I like how that Viego battle actually went much more, you know, smoother and much more um, easier in comparison with the, you know, the previous two that I did, uh, which was against the Evershade Stalker and the, uh, the, um, what's the, what's the enemy called again? Um, the Ethereum Emitter, right? So it's much more easier, uh, well, not easier, but much more smoother than that. But regardless, um, it's a good run, I would say. Uh, I'm not going to get too into the fine details, so let's just go ahead and continue and then end this uh, episode. 
Okay, and we are back and that is the run complete. So that means we have done, I would say, uh, almost all of the champions. Uh, right, we only have Bart left to do and uh, thank God I unlocked Bart over the weekend. So <laughs> that's kind of good. So Alawi's chapter 1 and 2 done, Annie's chapter 1 and 2 done, Bart, I'm uh, sorry not Bart, Jin's chapter 1 and 2 Bart, uh, done. Bard is the only one which I'm still to unlock his chapter 2. But in the meantime, we'll do his chapter 1 first. I have actually tried his chapter 1. To be honest, I am still trying to master Bard a bit. Um, I think I don't really know how to play him, you know, as much. I think out of all the four new champions, right? Uh, my mastery over them, in a way, if you can even call it mastery per se. Um, I think I prefer Annie followed by Jin and then Alawi and then Bard. That's possibly how I, how I would say uh, I have a, some semblance of knowledge over them. But uh, that's besides the point. Once we're done with all of them, we are going to move on into the regular champions, of course. And I'm going to want to kick things off with Darius. However, we are going to leave that for some other time because we are running out of time right now. We are about 31 minutes in. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the Path of Champions here with Alawi and Legends of Terra. And if you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing. Really appreciate your support. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of single player playthroughs of content just like this one. And with that being said, this is Kevlo signing off. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hopefully I catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.